Okay, so what we have for you today is a little bit of a magic trick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this test tube here, which I put in a larger beaker full of oil, and I'm going to make it disappear. I'm going to do that purely and simply using a bit more oil. Now, hopefully you can see this as I pour it through. Put the test tube under the oil, disappears. Now, magic you know, might be nice and mysterious in, the, in uh, fantasy, but in the real world, everything that we, uh, that's around us is interacting with physics and uh, you know, interacting with energy, interacting with material, and as such can be explained by physics. And that's equally true here. So what we're seeing, or more precisely what we're not seeing, is the test tube there. That's all down to the optical properties of this system that we've got. So that's the light interacting with the glass, with the oil, and, uh, and the beaker within. And the key thing here is refractive index. And so hopefully this is something you've come across in optics. It's the idea that as light passes through something, if that something is thicker than, they, for example, the air that it's passing through beforehand, then its path will change and it'll get bent either towards the normal, so the 90 degree line to the surface, if it's thicker, if it's thinner, it'll get bent away. And so what happens is, as the light comes through this, it gets uh, refracted a little, and uh, every time it hits something where the refractive index changes, it gets refracted again, and that means, that explains why we can see the tube when it has nothing in. So I'll find that one out. So you can see here now, we've got a bit at the bottom where you can't see anything, and a bit above where you can. Now what's happening there is the light is passing through the glass, through the oil, through the glass again, through a little pocket of air, and then back out the other side. Now the key thing with this system is that the oil has the same refractive index, roughly, as the glass. And so that means that as the uh, light passes from the oil into the glass, it isn't refracted at all. So that's why it passes straight through and makes our cylinder look invisible. And we can demonstrate this a bit more obviously using a laser and a perspex block. So if we look here, if we have it nicely lined up and it goes straight through perpendicular to the surface, then nothing happens. But as it starts to hit at an angle, we can see that the path of the laser is changed. And as I mentioned, the, uh, because the glass is thicker than the air, light is actually slowed down inside the glass, and so it bends uh, away from the normal. And we can see this here. So as I tilt the glass block, you can see the two lines moving apart from each other. And that shows the line above is just the laser passing out and not passing through the glass block. The line down there is on the passes through the glass block. And as that's refracted, its path is changed. And we can see it moves a little. So refraction, as I say, is caused by something, uh, caused by light passing from air into something that's thicker than air, or a substance with a different refractive index. And that's what causes the bend in path that allows us to see the cylinder. And also means that when we have something filling the cylinder here, the refractive index is the same, so the path isn't bent and we can see straight through it.